Hey, if you ever did those um, Crayola um, wax candles when you were in fourth grade and you make your own, you bring your old little um, pint-sized milk cartons and you make wax candles out of it for Christmas or whatever, that on a difficulty scale would be difficult compared to this. This is so easy to make beeswax candles and it's just 100% beeswax and um, you can get the little uh, votive candles at Michael's or Walmart for usually about 50 cents a piece and then it doesn't take a whole lot of beeswax either. In this case it's probably about a half of an ounce so I'm going to show you how to do that and then it makes nice little Christmas presents that you could easily um, package in those um, Winton uh, treat bags. You get usually a hundred in a pack so you've got plenty. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Okay, what I did is I just bought a um, package of those unscented tea light candles. Just the cheapo paraffin candles. You can also get one of these um, wire wicks, especially if you want the lead-free kind. These are actually really large. I don't think even that big and you'd have to cut them down anyway. But if you're making big, bigger candles, you can use those. And then I had my kids separate out the wax from the candle so it was really easy it took them five minutes to do that so you're left with the little metal piece the wick and the little metal container which you won't even need these are going to be freestanding beeswax candles they won't be in a metal container I melted down my um, beeswax in a, one of those little sauce crock pots which I never use for sauce I just use it for this and Take a bit of it and stick it in your muffin size pans, which I don't use for muffins either, I just use it for lotion. And start sticking your um, beeswax wicks. Whoops, that one just came right off. Okay, so cheap isn't always easy. Let's go again. The trick is just to make sure it stands straight up when you do it. You don't really want it leaning to a side. And that just helps it to bind to the bottom of the pan. And then just let those dry um, for, I don't know, a couple minutes. Okay, then the next step would be get your turkey baster, which I use this one just for beeswax, so it's getting pretty warped, but, but it works. And then I just replace it by a new one when I need to. And pour that in there. Really, you just kind of have to decide how tall you want to make these. I do about three quarters of the way up. Beeswax burns much better than paraffin. Okay, I just lost my wig in that. It didn't come out. I just need to get something like a toothpick to bring it back up straight again, which I'll do that in a second. Um, beeswax burns a lot longer and cleaner than paraffin. And it doesn't emit a real strong honey smell, so don't expect a lot of scent. But there is a little bit, but they just look gorgeous, especially in the fall and at Christmas time. Now that's going to take probably a while to harden. And once it gets to about to room temperature, which by then it's already hard, I like to stick it in the freezer so that it'll pop out of the pan easily. Sometimes I have to take a sharp knife to it, but... Um, it'll pretty much pop right out of the pan and then you're done. That is it. It's so, so easy. And the cost is really cheap probably for everything. It's Each candle is easily going to be under a dollar. And that's it. And now you have your little Christmas presents. Or just put them on the dinner table and enjoy your candle. This one's going to... This... Um, uh, they burn for probably a good two hours it, even though it's really small so they burn really well. Someday I'm going to learn how to do the rolled beeswax candles. I haven't figured that one out yet with um, blocks of pure beeswax. There you go.